my earliest memories are two or three years of age are of going down to Manly Wharf on a daily basis. My grandfather would pick me up in the stroller, throw me in the car, and off we'd go down to Manly Wharf. He knew a few of the, a few of the crews down there and the, the guys who worked on the wharf, and I'd just sit there in my stroller watching the old North Head and, and Baragula come and go. And uh, uh, as the Baragula today is being cut up after having sunk, it's a... Uh, and I, I got the bug. The ferries were for me. Wanted to be a ferry skipper or a ferry worker for years. It was all I, all I ever wanted to do. I realised that dream in, in my early 20s when I was uh, appointed as a master at Sydney Ferries and I was very lucky to have been able to skip a, some of the older ferries, the lady ferries, although they weren't the old ferries compared to Canangra, but you know, in, in, at, by that time they were. And, and, and the other ferries, including the, the big freshwater class that are now um, approaching their own retirement. Some have been retired already. For me, that was uh, a dream realised. But Canangra had a major part in that process because when I was tw we started coming down here as a volunteer when I was 12 and, and spending every Saturday on board, you know, you, you, she became just part of everyday life for me and um, always dreamed of, of, of eventually one day skippering her. I still dream of that day. Hopefully we'll be, we will achieve that in the coming years with this restoration project. And the, what we're about to do is to take this vessel out of the water and commence the whole restoration. And that's, that's, that, that is a, a major stepping stone in the, uh, in the journey of Canangra. The journey of the Canangra that started back in 1912. The significance of this vessel is to Sydney and to its transport systems is not fully understood. I think by uh, the people today because there's not as many people left that remember travelling on Canangra or that travelling on any of the K-class. They were the predominant way of getting around Sydney Harbour for most of the 20th century. Uh, all the Ks that, that were built in the, in, the, in the first two decades of the last century and they ran right through until the 1980s and the Canangra was the very last one and the very fact that we've still got her is uh, amazing in itself and we feel extremely um, responsible for ensuring that this history gets preserved. We want people to come on board and get the feel for what it was like to travel on a ferry in Sydney a hundred years ago.